Hi everyone, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 and of course we are returning to Brussels which is where we drove to last week uh, from London. So I'm going to get straight into it again today and let's just get our engine running and I'll just open up the freight market and I'll show you this week's run. So you'll see here I've got the GPS set and it's going from Brussels to Liège and the reason for that is because there is a very very limited amount of loads you can actually do from Brussels today. Uh, there is a good one from the edge which goes from there all the way down to Metz which is the one I want to do today. Um, so that is going to be uh, I don't know maybe 250 miles in total today we're going to do so probably almost the most I've done yet. Again not a massive long way to go but it is getting longer each time and I don't want to have them too long because it just takes a very long time and it can get a bit boring so yeah I like doing the shorter ones going to different places each time so yep got my GPS set and I think we can actually get cracking now the lights are just changing so we might as well go uh, red lights great so uh, yeah 103 miles and then it's 155 on top of that, so that's 255 miles today we'll be doing. Of course, we will not be paid for the first 100 miles or so uh, because we do not have a trailer, but we will be paid for the rest of it. And I will still be gaining experience points for free roam, so that's not too bad. You've just got to wait for these really slow lights to change. Okay, there we go lights have changed let's go and I have actually just updated he's just saying there in the chat uh, I have just updated your truck simulator um, because they've just brought out a patch haven't they and I had to update the multiplayer which means it's actually I'm recording this a bit later than I was planning why am I getting stopped by every red light it's so typical. I'll go right up to the edge there. I try and get the traffic lights to be in that gap between the the side of the truck and the mirror. You can actually see it a lot better. But if I do overshoot, like if I put it just there, then I just press my control there on my um, steering wheel. I can look both ways. Ah, waiting at traffic lights. I like to get out of the towns because you don't have that problem. Running at about, oh, not very good, 13 frames per second at the moment. Really not good. The sooner I get the new graphics card, the better. And thank you to all of you who did post a link to graphics cards last week. I really appreciate them and they do look really good. A little bit more expensive than I was hoping but I guess you get what you pay for don't you so most likely worth it. Not sure when I am going to be getting the new one but it will be at some point soon. Um, I'm not sure really. Could be a month or so yet. The only game which really lets me down is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Farming Simulator is actually really good at running smoothly. But yeah, Euro Truck Simulator is a lot more intense when I'm running Fraps. Now for anyone who doesn't quite understand what Fraps is, I know quite a lot of you will do, but I did have a few messages last week saying what is it. Basically it's just the recording software I use to record my videos. There's quite a lot of them out there. Fraps is a very common one, very good one, and that's what I use. So that's what Fraps is. If I ever say uh, that my game lags when I'm running Fraps, that's what it is, just simply a bit of recording software. So 82 miles until our destination in Liège, and we will be then getting our load, which I think, I can't remember exactly, but it was quite a light load of reservoir tanks I think I think it's about six tons so nothing really too heavy we shouldn't have 
any acceleration problems. Uh, that is one thing I find with the lower horsepower lorries is if you try and do some hill starts and you've got a 25 ton trailer on the back <laughs> then it can be quite tricky when you're using the clutch because obviously there's a lot more weight on the back there to pull up the hill and I actually do have to adjust my settings on this steering wheel for this game I want to get it a bit uh, more a bit more feedback on it um, the self-centering it's a bit loose at the moment and that's why my steering wheel is sort of going side to side quite a lot because I'm trying to just center it off a bit I do need to increase the stiffness on that but we're in multiplayer I am like I say recording a bit later than I was hoping to so it's quite late on Sunday night so not as many people in as I'm sure there would have been later on earlier on uh, so it's a bit of a shame but we will still come across a few people and I think if I do ever have this problem again where I'm recording late I will just go in single player because at least you have other traffic on the road and you're not just driving on a totally open road so we're on the A15 at the moment an hour and 25 minutes from my destination yeah there are some people in so it's fine But I would like to try and keep using the the road signs more than the actual GPS. I should probably do one where I only use the road signs and don't refer to the GPS at all. That would be more challenging. Because obviously it's just telling you exactly where to go each time. But it is handy. It does tell you that your remaining distance and the time and of course it does show you the speed limit too but I really like my new truck oh look at that good timing to put the roof cam on I try and stay in cab view because it's a lot easier just showing you around it a bit though don't usually show outside cam but yeah really like it really glad I bought this truck so here we are approaching our destination to pick up our load been here quite a few times I think really really want to start moving towards the eastern area haven't really been there too much in the go east expansion pack I explained this last week I'm just trying to get more loads going that way I know I'm going a bit more south this time but hopefully next time I'll be able to sort of gradually go over in that direction I really wish they would bring out an update for the UK because it's been a long time since things were actually changed there um, and the new places which they're creating like Scandinavia look really detailed and it doesn't make the UK look very good really because it's been such a long time in fact I don't even know if anything's been done since the initial release many years ago so it would be good if there were some updates for that not sure if there's going to be um, I think at the moment they're still trying to expand on Europe itself but here we are come off here these are really tight sometimes I just zoom in on the map there and red lights as usual I wonder if I'll ever get to green lights. That would be nice. Okay, we'll wait here for those lights to change. 
But yeah, we're going to ITCC. To get our load of reservoir tanks. And don't think there's anyone else here. No, not here. In the area there is. Oh, there is. Just pulling in now. Okay. Oh, stopped a bit too soon there. Right, so let's pick it up. It is the reservoir tanks, the edge to Metz, and that is 40, pa 40 pounds and 34p per mile. So not too bad. I'd have been really annoyed if that had disappeared because it's done it before. I have started recording the video and I programmed it into the GPS and everything and then I got to my destination and it completely wiped it off the system and I had to re-record it all so I don't want it to do that again but yeah, a bit more of an interesting load I suppose, not just a curtain cider or a refrigerated unit which is a bit more interesting good, let's go and it's really light, only six tons. Clearly an empty tank there. Definitely empty. Let's go. All clear. And red light. But yeah, really like using the G27 with this game. It is really good because I can just keep using the different buttons it's got to swap between different camera angles. Don't even have to look at my keyboard. Really impressed with it. If it's set up correctly, it's really good. Before, when I first used it, I didn't really program anything into the keys. So I was still using my keyboard and I kept having to lean over. Which was a bit annoying, so that's why I've done that, and it is a lot better. And I'm also hoping that this time I won't have any problems with fraps, because last week it stopped recording halfway through, and I didn't notice immediately. And uh, then I missed a bit out, which was really annoying as well. So hopefully it's not going to cut out. If it does, I'm hoping I'm going to notice it straight away so I don't miss anything. Uh, but if there is a jump cut, that is the reason why. And I can zoom out of my map again now. Yep, all dual carriageway for the time being. Onto the A15. We don't really need diesel yet. But we might have to stop at some point. Probably next week. And I haven't driven anywhere between last week's video and this week's. I've been doing other things, not really had the time. And in a way it's better because you're not missing anything, which I do. Literally, when I finished the video last week, I saved it, edited my video, uploaded it, and then we've just resumed it now. So nothing missed. No more money, no more mileage on the lorry. So that's good, that's all good. Uh, we're coming off here, somewhere up here. Luxembourg turning and again I've been to Metz fairly recently uh, just trying to get out of this common area it's, it's the place where I know you get a lot more people here so it is more interesting in multiplayer but it's the place where I am always so I don't really want to be in the common areas I'm going to get in the more unusual areas but yeah, a lot of people here. Someone with a boat there. I did that load a few weeks ago and it was really big. It's really wide. Took that a bit too quick. Yeah, it's a really wide thing. You've got to be careful when you're doing that one. I keep seeing a man flashing up in my mirror. That is weird. Yeah, the driver. 
It appears in the driver's mirror there. If you just go back in the there, it did it again. If you go back in the video, you'll see it. That is really weird. I think it was a driver, which keeps spawning outside. It is busy here. More people. Two in convoy there. It's a little bit laggy actually. That could be my connection. Although it seems okay. Hmm, it could be just my graphics card again. It'll be so nice when I've got that upgraded. I don't really know if I'll be able to sell my old one or what I can get for it. I assume it's worth something. Probably not too much, but it could all go towards the new one, which would be nice. Because uh, obviously I can get a better one then, if I can get some money back for this one. It's really old though. It's a GeForce, one gigabyte memory in it. Don't really know the technical details of it, but it's served me four and a half years, so it's done pretty well. And to be fair, it can run games like Skyrim on fairly high graphics without any frames per second losses at all. So why it struggles so much with Eurotrick Simulator, I don't know. It is actually the worst game for having the frame rate drop. So, don't know. No idea. But, we've got 88 miles remaining on our journey today. It's actually felt like it's not taken too long. We're not there yet, but it's been a longer trip than last week. And it's gone really quickly, so not really sure why that was. I will have to find one a bit longer to somewhere a bit more unusual. And if this frame rate really does get a serious problem, because it is actually dropping every week, I don't know, I might have to get my airline and blow the graphics card through. Obviously on low pressure. Uh, get any dust out of it, because that can slow them down, I think. It does seem to be getting worse every week. Hmm. But I've got, like, uh, air filters on my PC case and they actually do a really good job it totally stops all of the dust from getting into the machine itself that's my cat crying sorry about that yeah I've got these <laughs> um, air filters and all I do is clear them out and nothing else actually gets into the machine at all so it's really good really handy because before with my previous case it used to suck in everything and it was a real issue because I had to clean it out nearly every fortnight a lot of dust getting in there uh, but with this one really have not had a problem but it has been a while since I did it so that I assume there could be something that's got in there to slow the graphics card down like that because uh, it never used to be so bad A bit of different scenery at the moment. It's not like flat towns, it's uh, got a bit of rolling countryside here to the left, which is nice. Yeah, as soon as I look away, I always swear it's awful. Uh, okay, so we are not coming off here. I'm gonna have to change lanes. We're not coming off at Luxembourg. We're continuing to Metz. Was it on the A6? I'm not sure. Missed that one. Um, could be. Yes, Strasbourg and Metz. A6. And the other one was the E25. But yeah, that was the turn for Luxembourg. We have not been down there yet, I don't think. That'll be one to come. Um, a lot of rest stops on this road. Really handy if you're in single play and you need to rest. 
but one thing I do find sometimes is you always have a petrol station when you don't need one. <laughs> um, I always find that when I'm running low on diesel, I never can find one, or at least I can. I'm miles away from it on the map. There's one actually coming up now, so I'm not too bad. But I don't even need it at the moment. It's just keeping an eye on the diesel. Don't wait until it gets into the red. Sometimes the reserve tanks can be pretty big, so it's not always an issue. It's just if you forget about it, because it does ping up the first time saying you're running low on fuel, but then if you ignore that or forget about it, that's when it becomes an issue, because I have run out of diesel once, and it was quite a hefty fee to pay to get to the nearest town for recovery. Um, we don't want to be coming off here. Here's someone in front. Driving in a lane you don't drive in. Swerving all over the place. Don't want to get too close. We're coming off here anyway, so we shouldn't be having any accidents. Oh, don't want to be coming off there. Yeah, he's uh, in the outside lane. In a lorry. I know he's coming off. Okay, so here we are approaching Metz. We are almost there. And the speed limit, I'm sure, is about to change to 30, it'll be. Or is it 50? 50. And the lights have just changed to red. He's gone through the red lights, and now he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, stalled. This is getting worse. How embarrassing. Yeah, this is my professional approach. Not so good this week. Uh, I try my best, but it's not always going to plan. I caught the trailer last week. This week I've stalled. Got into that inside lane without looking properly. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. We can now go to our depot. If we can get through the green lights, it'd be good. Come on, don't change. Oh, the second one's never going to stay on green. No. Although, we can go through there. So, here we are. Our delivery depot. We've just got to reverse the trailer in now, and then we can look at our statistics at the end. Hello. Mm hmm This is quite a tight yard actually, it's a trickier one to reverse in. A lot trickier. trailer's in, but I'm not going to be straight. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it could have been better. We are in. I'll take it. Okay, that was an excellent job. At least we didn't have any damage. So that's good. Uh, despite a few little hiccups along the way. Nothing too serious. Okay, so we had a base reward of £4,841, 258 experience points, proficiency bonus of £1,452, long distance delivery bonus of 218 uh, with 64 experience points, urgent delivery bonus of 262 with 51 experience points, 
and of course our bonus for parking the trailer of 45 experience points which brings a total of 6,772 pounds and 418 experience points to add on to our overall experience which is level 20 and we're a master apparently so here we are experience 44,371 out of 47,700 until we get to level 21. So there we go, that is this week's job completed. Thanks for watching everyone, you can join me again this time next week for more Euro Truck Simulator 2 and hopefully we'll be going a bit more professional, uh, although I cannot guarantee that. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.